silver hoy! A fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. The masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals through the length and breadth of seven states. Outlaws could expect no quarter from him, but he never believed that one mistake should ruin a man's life. If a man deserved a second chance, he always received it. And that is why Ohio Silver came to be the battle cry of justice on the frontier. And now return with us to those thrilling days when the West was young and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for North Texas! Donald's waiting on the trail ahead! Hi, oh, Silver! Away! Jack Bates owned a small, well kept ranch in northern Texas. He lived there with his wife, Mary. And at the time of our story, the young couple are just about ready to sit down for supper. Mary is standing at the stove while Jack washes in a tin basin. Anything else happened while I was at the county seat? Nothing, I guess, Jack. Let's see, I mentioned the hens, told you the cows were better. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, there was a man come by asking about you. A man? Well, who was it? Didn't say. He was a stranger to me, Jack. Uh, there's the cow. Mm -hmm. well, what do you want? Oh, he just said his business was personal. He wouldn't leave a message. Well, what'd he look like, Mary? How old was he? Offhand, I'd say about middle age. Huh. That might mean anything from 40 to 60. I didn't like his looks. He had the most frightful scar alongside of his mouth. What? Why, Jack, what's the matter? Do you know him? Tell me more about him. What did he ask about me? What did he say? Jack, for the love of mercy, you've gone pale. But... Let go of my arm, honey. You're hurting me. What did that man with a scar say? Why, he, he just asked if Jack Bates lived here, and I said yes. He said how long has he lived here, and I told him about two years. Then what? Why, <laughs> I guess that's about all. I told him where you were, and he asked when you'd be back. I said this evening, and he said thanks, and grinned at me and rode away. Who is he, Jack? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just forget about it, Mary. Forget about it after the way you've acted? Jack, in the name of goodness, what's the matter with you? You acted as if that man was going to kill you or something. No. No, forget it. But let's sit down. Oh, Mary, Jack, did I do or say something I shouldn't have? Don't say anything more about it. Maybe it's someone else I... I won't worry. But you are worried, I can tell. Did... Did he say anything about the law? No. He did ask what you looked like and how long I'd known you, but that's all. Oh, it's him, all right. Jack. Well? Are you hiding from someone? How'd you get that idea? Tell me. There's nothing to tell. You act as if you were hiding from the law or something. Is that the case? I said not to say anything more about it, Mary. I'll let it drop. <sighs> the first time. Huh? The first time since we've been married that you've used that tone of speaking to me. I'm sorry, but... Oh, well, the door. Stay there. I'll go see who it is. I wonder if it's the same man. Well, if it ain't Jack Beats. You. I suppose you remember me, don't you? I... I guess you must have made a mistake, stranger. You're the second man that's been by here thinking I'm some other Jack Beats. Huh? 
Where are you? What do you want here? Say, what sort of game are you trying to play? Telling me you ain't the man My I... wife. I didn't want her to know. Oh, I savvy. So you ain't forgot Lem Halstead then, eh? I know you're all right, Halstead. What do you want here? How'd you know I wanted something? You wouldn't come here otherwise. Did your wife know that you was one time known as Morton? No. Don't mention that name around here. Mm. You ain't shot up anyone since you took your new name, have you? No. Look here, Halstead. Suppose I... you and me walk over past the hen house where we can talk without your wife overhearing. What suits me? But there's nothing to talk about unless... Unless I got something to say. It just happens I have. You ain't acted glad to see me, Bates. See, I'm willing to use your new name. Maybe I'll turn out to be a blame good friend of yours. Come on. You never was a friend of anyone. How'd you find me? It took some time. You can bet on that. What are you after? Jack, I suppose you know there's a standing reward for you. Well? I could use that reward money. I'd hate to ride to the county seat and tell the sheriff what I well, know, If you'd hate but... to, then, then you likely won't do it, huh? That's why I come to you first. I suppose you know they still want you for murder in Kansas. Well, I, I suppose so. Being as I'm broke, I need that reward money. Of course, if we could talk the thing over so as I wouldn't stand to lose nothing by keeping what I know to myself, then I could get away from here. Likely never see you again. Not till you needed more money. Then you'd come back. It ain't likely. Look here, Halstead. I don't have any cash. I couldn't pay you anything if I wanted to. Hmm. Got the farm, ain't you? But it's not We can so make that... a deal without too much trouble. If you went to jail, you'd lose the farm. Now, sit down here at the edge of this arroyo, Jack, and I'll outline just what's on my mind. Lem, you know the situation when I... when I got into that scrape in Kansas. I wasn't more than a kid. I... I didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't mean to start trouble. But you did. If you're the one who planned the whole thing, you roped me in on it, and you know it. I thought ever since then that you framed it so as I'd take the blame. Instead of that, you were caught and I got away. I was caught, all right, and I served my term. A good many years. Now I'm a free man, Savvy. But you ain't. And Sheriff Masters in Kansas don't forgive or forget. He wants you, Morton. Stop it. <laughs> I should say Jack Bates. <laughs> you see, I'm reformed now and going straight. Huh. By blackmailing me. It ain't blackmailing. All I want is a reward of standing for you. I've gone straight. I've changed my name and settled down. Masters don't care about that. You see, I should get a sight more than a reward. Because all the time I spent in the calaboose when you should have been there with me. How much do you want? How much you got? The reward's a thousand dollars. I can't raise that much cash. No? Now ain't that too bad. And my wife. If she knew... She'll know, sure enough. The law comes and takes you more... I should say Bates. <laughs> Funny how I keep forgetting your new name, ain't it? <laughs> if you was to go back and spend the rest of your life in jail, you'd sure lose your farm. So if I was in your place, I'd sooner give up the farm if need be to keep out of jail. Well, you hungry, Lord. Now you just sit there and think it over. Yeah. I'll get back to my horse and pull on. Be back maybe tomorrow for your answer. Uh, I'll think things over. Yeah. You'll think them over, Jack. Think things over. Things over. Things over. I could shoot him. I could shoot him and close his mouth. One shot, and that would end it. He's known as a killer. He's done a term in jail. Go on. Draw your gun. Draw your gun, Jack. It's your home, your happiness, your wife. That's it. Now cock it. Hurry and fire. He's mounting his horse. Hurry and fire. Just one shot, that's all. One shot. No, I can't. I can't. I won't. I won't do it. Get him there. Why? I couldn't do it. I'm glad you didn't fire. What? Why? Who are Take you? Take it easy, Bates. Masked. Where? Were... You must have been down in the Arroyo. I was. You heard. Enough to understand the situation. I had my gun leveled on you. If you'd drawn back in the trigger, I'd have blasted your gun out of your hand. Where'd you come from? Who are you? And that engine? Me, Tonto. You see, if you try to silence that man, there'd have been two witnesses to another murder. But I. I couldn't do it, I... I understand, Bates. You called me Bates. That's twice you called me Bates. You heard my real name. Perhaps I called you Bates because I'm more or less on your side. My side? Lem Halstead served time in prison in Kansas. Yeah. In Sheriff Masters County. Yeah. That's where they're still looking for you. That affair was ten years or more ago. You must have been pretty young. Well, I... I was only 17. I see. But who are you? Where'd you come from? We were watering our horses in the spring down below there. 
Here's Silver. Mr. Scout. Well, I suppose you'll try and beat them Halstead to that reward now. Perhaps not. Well, where, where are you going? Right now, we're heading for Kansas. Yep. Heading, heading for Kansas. That means it won't be long before Sheriff Masters will be trying to get me out of this county so he can throw me in jail for murder. The next day. I told you yesterday I'd be back for your answer. What about it, Morton? Not so loud. I, I don't want Mary to hear. Well, I don't hanker to stay around these parts very long. Let me know, Prano, if you aim to pay me or go to jail in Kansas. I've got to have some time. Let me see what I can do, Lem. How much time? Well, uh, a couple of days. Well, make it for sure, then. I'll be back day after tomorrow. And you better have the cash. Get up there. I, I don't know what to do. Jack? Oh, oh, yeah, Mary? Come inside, Jack. I want to talk to you. Yes, Mary? Isn't there something you want to tell me? Like, I don't know. I heard that man call you Morton. Yes, he called me Morton. You did a little talking in your sleep last night, too. I suppose the only thing to do is to tell you everything. But a lot sooner you would. Mary, a man can't hide his past, especially if there's a big mistake in it. It always catches up to him sooner or later. I thought... Being as I had gone straight all these years, I could marry you, settle down here in Texas, and, and be happy. But it's no use. You were in on a killing, weren't you? How'd you know? You kept saying, Killer Morton, in your sleep. Oh, did I? And you were thinking about a son. Your son, growing up and being known as, as a killer son. Mary, I'll tell you the whole story. Maybe you can decide what to do. It all started when Lem Halstead put a proposition up to me. I was just past 17. He was around 30 then. I didn't know he was planning a robbery, but that's what he was doing. We were seen, and there was one shot. Run! Run! We're seen! You shot him! I got away, and Lem Halstead was caught. Well, that's the whole story, Mary. The law still wants me in Kansas. I believe you, Jack. Even if you weren't really to blame, you'd have to pay for it. Eight years, Mary. Eight years during which I tried to square myself with the world. I joined the army, fought engines, took all kinds of chances. But I wasn't ever hurt, not even wounded. So I figured that the Lord had forgiven me. He sees things sometimes different than the law does. Yes, Jack. Now, do you still have any use for me? I love you, Jack. What's a wife for if not to stick to her husband through all sorts of trouble? Oh, Mary... There's no use paying Lem Halstead. That wouldn't be the honest thing. Well, if, if I do sell a place here and pay him, that masked man of the redskin will likely report me anyhow. The only thing to do is to ride to the sheriff and surrender yourself. At least ten years in jail. Maybe longer. I'll be waiting, Jack. You know that. And, and the little fellow that's coming. Mary, what of him? He'll be waiting too. Or, or she. At least you'll have squared yourself with everyone. And then you can face the world for the fine, honest man you are. I wouldn't even see him in all that time. He he wouldn't see me, his own paw, until... until he was half-grown. But he'd love you, Jack. I'd tell him all about you and how fine and good you were. And he'd be looking forward the same as me for the time when... when you'd come back home. Then, if that's what you want... It is, Jack. I'll, I'll ride to the county seat tomorrow. I'll give myself up. Tell the sheriff to send me to Kansas and... And Sheriff Masters. You're brave, Jack. I... I haven't been. I'm proud of you. And somehow I... I have a feeling you won't have to go to jail. You don't know Sheriff Masters. We'll see. Remember, Sheriff Masters doesn't know you. Before the next act of our Lone Ranger drama, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
When Lem Halstead threatened to turn Jack Bates over to Sheriff Masters, Jack decided to give himself up. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode to Kansas and investigated the 10-year-old crime for which Bates was wanted. Then they headed for a railroad station where a gleaming wire showed them that there was a telegraph. Tonto, there's a station right ahead. Mm, that's good. We can use that telegraph and check on the report we've had of Jack Morton. We'll save a lot of time. Mm. Those reports are true. We may be able to help him more than he thinks. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe, maybe feller not send message. I think he'll send it all right. <laughs> we, we make him. Steady there, silver old boy. Hi, stranger. I want to speak to you. Your man. Yes. Get away. This ain't no place for masked men. Stay there with the horses, Tonto. No, no, not so fast. Don't try to slam that door. Now, see here. There ain't nothing here that's worth robbing. I don't want to rob you. All I want is for you to send a message. I can't do it unless it's uh, railroad business. Yes, you can. It's government business. Yeah? Here's the message I want sent. But... See here, mister, this ain't government business. Yes, it is the business of the government to give men the right to life and liberty. That message means all of that to the men concerned. Jack Morton. Say. Well? I was talking with the operator down Texas way this morning. Talking to him? On the telegraph, I mean. We sort of visit back and forth. Well? He told me about Jack Morton. He surrendered himself to the sheriff. He did? Yeah. They're sending word to Sheriff Masters up here to go and get him. He's wanted for a murder he's done ten years ago. I know he is. Fact is, he's on his way here right now. There's a couple of deputies bringing him. Sheriff Masters is south of here, between here and the Texas border. Just so. I had to come a long way north to get to this office. Yeah? If Sheriff Masters is the kind of man I think, he'll waste no time with Jack Morton, or Bates, as he calls himself now. Masters don't waste time with no one. He'll have Morton tried first thing in the morning, chances are. Then they'll be set to hang him a four night if they don't lynch him. They won't hang him, will they? Sure they will. He's been a fugitive too long to get anything else. Send that message and get me an answer as soon as you can. Well, I'll do it, mister, even if it is again the rules. My friend will stay around here two or more days if necessary. It may take that long before the answer comes. Tonto, uh -huh. I'm riding for Sheriff Masters County. You stay here. As soon as the message comes from Washington, bring it to me. Why, you go. To try and postpone a hanging. Yep. The Lone Ranger headed south. Meanwhile, Jack Morton had been taken north from Texas to Sheriff Masters, who immediately called for a trial. While the masked rider urged his great horse, Silver, to its utmost speed, Jack was brought before the judge. Yes, I did it all right. I came to surrender. That's all we need to know, Judge. He's confessed to the crime all right. You plead guilty? Yes. Well, married, eh? Well, this, this is my wife. She came with me, Your Honor. Well, there's nothing for the jury to decide. Stand up close to the bar and hear your sentence. Yes, sir. If you'd been captured at the time, you would have had ten years. As it is, you've been a fugitive from justice. You've cost the county no end of time, money, and trouble. You understand that? Yes, sir. For that, you'll get the maximum. I sentence you to hang by the neck till dead. <laughs> Taken to prison, stunned by the grim penalty that had been meted out, Jack sat in his cell with his wife on the opposite side of the bars. There were only a few short hours before he was to hang. Jack, Jack, I can't believe it. It can't be true. Mary, I, I was willing to pay, but this... I'm going to talk to the sheriff. It won't do no good. But it won't do any harm. The Lone Ranger drew closer to his goal, but he realized how quickly a sentence of death would be carried out. 
Silver responded to his urging with even greater speed. Come on, Silver! A man's life is at stake! A good man's life! Sheriff, you can save him if you remind to. He's a good man. Sorry, Mrs. Morton, but the law's the law. Can't you understand? There's not just me that there's a little one coming. Mm, it's too bad. But he killed a man. That was ten years ago. He wasn't more than a boy. He should have thought of that before he married you. Lem Holstead was only given ten years. He wasn't killed. Jury was weak-kneed, that's why. Now, there's nothing more to talk about. You can stay here in my office if you want till the hanging is over. Oh. Heaven help us. Jake, you stay here with Mrs. Morton. I'll go with Pete and Lefty and the prisoner. All right, Sheriff. Sheriff, this is murder you're doing. The law is the law. But, Sheriff... All set, Sheriff? Come on, we'll get him out in the cell and take him to where the boys are waiting for him. The rope's all set. The sooner we get this done with, the better. I hate like sin to do it, but... Well, we got to show the rest of the folks that crime don't pay in Kansas. That's right. Got the keys? Yeah. Sheriff? Yeah? My wife. Did she talk to you? Yeah. You're going to let me out? Yeah. Then then you've changed your mind? Changed my mind. You're going to let me go? Can't do it, Jack. Well, then why? It ain't for me to say. The law spoke. And all I can do is carry out the law. You mean... You're going now, Morton. I reckon it'll be best if you don't see your wife again. Come on. No. No, you can't do it. Sheriff... Now, don't make trouble... We got two men here to rope you if we have to do it. There just ain't no way to get around the law. No, I... I reckon they ain't. That's the way to take it, Morton. And I thought... Ah, <laughs> oh, what a fool. You thought what? That... that I'd been forgiven. Well, there's the boys right ahead. Hey, there's someone coming there. Come on, Silver! Well, that's the masked man. Who? He's riding hard. Maybe he's got word for you, Sheriff. He's heading right this way. Likely wants a share of the reward. I have the time! Hey, what's his mean? Look out there! Stop that! Look out for that horse! This way! Come yeah. on, Jack! Come down with me! But you! Stop that man! Get your gun! This is Jack! Oh! Snatched him right away from her. Never got the chance to use a gun. Knock me clean off my feet. Where's his wife? I'll hold her. That's what I'll do. You boys round up a posse. Scour the country for them, too. Morton when we get him. What did you say? He got away. My husband, isn't he going to hang? He'll hang, but not as planned. We got to get him back first. I never see nothing like the way that masked man rid up, lifted him to the white horse and high tail. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. You're staying here till we get your husband back. Savvy that? I'm glad to. I'm glad to stay here forever as long as Jack is alive. <laughs> Several days went by. The sheriff's posse was unable to find any sign of Jack or the masked man. And finally, the deputies returned to town. Sheriff Masters refused to give up. What sort of men are you? Them two couldn't disappear into thin air. We sure hunted high and low for them. Then get out and hunt some more. I want both them men, dead or alive. He's still alive. You... Do you know where he's hiding? No, Sheriff. If I thought you did... I wouldn't tell you if I did. Huh. Now, look here, Mrs. Morton. You can't stay in this here office from now on. Then put me in the jail. I, I can't do that neither. You ain't committed no crime. No, and I don't think Jack did either. Look, suppose I was to let you go back to Texas. I wouldn't go, Sheriff. Why not? Because I wouldn't know whether Jack was alive or dead. I wouldn't know whether or not he'd been found and brought back. That rat at all, you can't stay here. I can't lock you up. My missus can't go on a feeding you and letting you sleep in our place. Hi. Sheriff, we got an Indian here. Well, what about him? Hey, Tondo. 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 Uh? Jack spoke of... What about of it? What are you bringing him here for? He read into town and one of the boys recognized him as a friend of the masked man. Yeah? They seen him last night. He was building a fire on Dead Man's Hill. And this morning he was keeping that same fire going and heaping wet stuff on to make the smoke signal. Oh. 
And who are you signaling to? Me send message. To who? To good friend. The mask man? Uh, what for? Me tell him, come back. Come back? You mean he'll come here on account of you sending a smoke signal? That's right. Maybe him come heap soon. He can't be close enough to see that signal. If he was, we'd have found him. Him hide trail plenty good. Right there. They got him. They got him both. What? What's that? Here they come. Here they got him. The masked man and the other. He surrendered, Sheriff. But, but, but he won't give up his guns or take those masks off. Oh, oh, Open both. You wait. He got guns. You are in order too, huh? You keep back. Where's the message, Tonto? Yeah. He got it here. Give it to the Sheriff. What's this? Sheriff, yeah, while you were arresting Morton, I sent a message to Washington, to the War Department. Jack Morton had a fine army record. Good enough to merit a lot of things. Army record? Jack, Jack, why don't you stay away? What did you come back for? We're trusting the masked man, Mary. Tonto waited for the replies to come in, Sheriff. And I had to take Morton away so we wouldn't be dead when he his pardon arrived. Pardon? The War Department sent word to the governor of Kansas. He's sending a pardon by a fast rider. Isn't that what the message says, Tonto? Mm, that's right. That's why me send smoke signals. This sure says them very things, stranger. Sheriff, you're a hard man, but I reckon you're honest. You, you won't hang me till that pardon has a chance to get here, will you? No, Dad Raddatz. Morton, I'm glad it's coming. I'm glad for the sake of your wife and... and... <laughs> Well, for the sake of your whole doggone family. Come on, Miss Silver, old boy. Maggie McGee needs our help. Hello, Silver. Hello. story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.